hi guys so if you are unable to boot into your system so what you have to do is to first you know uh, make sure that your computer is fully shut down by any means and now after that we will use this power button to start the computer and as soon as the logo of the manufacturer starts it sh uh, starts showing on the screen in my case this is HP so logo of HP will appear in your case it may be Dell or Acer or LG whatever be your laptop manufacturer the logo of that will be appear okay the first screen which you see as soon as it starts showing just press the power button again and keep it pressed for three to four seconds so that it turns off okay so forcefully we are shutting it down now we will repeat this more uh, method three times and after that when we will do this method one more time then startup repair screen will appear in some laptops it may appear in two times also so just be careful to read that startup repair option okay so let's start first of all we will start this laptop and as soon as the logo appear we are pressing this and keep it pressed for three to four seconds then it is turned off now start again okay as soon as the logo appear we will press it and keep it pressed for three to four seconds and it turns off now we will start again and as soon as the logo appears we will again press it and keep it pressed for three to four seconds and it turns off now let's do it one more time okay so this is what we are looking for preparing automatic repair okay so we want this to appear on the screen once this has appeared please don't shut it down by power button and now this message will appear diagnosing your PC now we'll reach the screen automatic repair screen there are two options restart and advanced option we have to go to advanced option so just click on advanced option now in the screen we have to click on troubleshoot okay so click on troubleshoot now when we reach this screen we have two options reset the CPC and advanced options so click on advanced options okay now here in this uh, screen there are many options so first uh, what we'll do first is uninstall updates so this option is when you have installed an update or windows had recently updated by providing an update to your windows 10 pc and due to this update this problem is happening then you should do this okay just click on it and there are two options uh, feature update and latest quality update so if it is not a feature update most probably it is a quality update just click on it and now uninstall quality updates okay and after that you'll be able to log in now if this is not your case and if this doing this do not fixes your problem now go back to troubleshoot again and now click on advanced option again and now here there is one option known as system restore just click on system restore okay now click on next and now choose one of the options which are available okay and now click on next okay and now click on finish okay so it will restore the system to an earlier possible date and your problem will be solved okay now if uh, you cannot find a uh, system restore points and this could not fix your problem this will surely fix a problem if the system restore point is available but in many cases there are no system point uh, restore points available so in that case what to do click on troubleshoot again and now you have two option first one is reset this PC okay don't go to advanced option just click on reset this PC okay and now there are two options keep my files and remove everything okay uh, in this all your files uh, will be intact no data will be lost okay uh, so windows will be reinstalled with all your files available to yourself so this is advisable so just click on it and start resetting this PC and after reset you'll be able to log into your PC again laptops I have seen that uh, they are not being able to reach to the screen automatic recovery screen so there is one more option which you can try and that is 
first of all just uh, create a windows 10 installation media on a usb flash drive okay just google windows 10 installation iso and go to the microsoft website download the iso and then click on that iso file which you have downloaded click on it to run it and then insert this usb into your laptop and then mount the iso into this uh, usb disk okay after that i'll tell you how to reach the screen how to change the bio setting because in bio setting we have to change the boot order we want the pc to boot to this usb flash drive and not the os manager so for that we have to change the bios order how to change the bios order just start the computer with the uh, power button and now every laptop manufacturer have a dedicated key for entering into bios so in my case it is hp and hp f10 is the key okay so i'll start it and then keep pressing f10 okay now i have reached this bios page okay now i'll go to the system configuration yours may be different uh, now click on boot options okay now here first of all i have to make sure that usb boot is enabled if not enabled we will enable it and after that this is the uefi boot order okay so i'll just uh, choose this usb diskette on key usb hard disk okay and here it is showing that f5 and f6 keys are dedicated for moving it up and down so we will move it up and down okay and now we'll put it at the top now after putting it at the top we will press f10 again and enter to you know saving changes make sure that uh, the usb is inserted into your pc if not inserted then turn it off and insert it again and now start your computer okay now once you start your computer since the usb with the windows 10 installation media is, has been inserted and your boot order is changed so now you will reach the screen okay just select your language most will leave it to default if it is english just click on next and now in the screen you do not have to click install now just click on repair my computer okay repair your computer now you will reach the screen the same screen which you have reached after uh, going into automatic recovery option okay and now you can continue what i have described in the video in the earlier section okay so that's it guys with uh, this method you can easily fix your uh, startup problems and booting order problems in windows 10 thanks for watching please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek